So I've heard comments and opinions from different people regarding Kobe Bryant's parents being ignored at the funeral. And there's people that are saying that um, that's his parents, um, they brought him into the world. If it was not for his parents, he would not be uh, where he is today. And the fact that his father uh, taught him how to play ball because his father was at one time a professional ball player, that's all understandable. But we really don't know what happened to get to this point. Now, I've done a video in the past regarding his mom selling his memorabilia. And there was a whole issue regarding that because she felt that he gave them to her so it was in her right to sell them, to pawn them. And it ended up in court. He took his parents to court. The courts allowed his parents to keep some of them which they sold for allegedly 400 grand, which they in turn bought a house. My question is, what happened to that point? Whereas their son is a millionaire and his mother became so desperate that she had to sell his memorabilia for money. Were she struggling? Were the parents struggling at that time? And if they were struggling, why didn't their millionaire son help them out? So everybody's got their opinions and views because of the fact that those are his parents and they felt that the parents should have been should have been acknowledged but nobody really knows not even the media what transpired up to that point nobody knows what Colby talked to his wife about in private he might have said to his wife or shared with his wife some very hurtful things. His wife might have seen him cry. She might have seen him hurt from the actions and reactions of his family. And we all know that when a family member become famous or come into some type of fortune, you have family members coming out of the woodwork and family members feel that they're entitled to your stuff. Now I'm sure Kobe probably hit his family off. Took care of his moms, took care of his dad, took care of his sisters, helped them out. But instead of them investing their money, instead of them being wise in spending their money, they squandered it and they kept coming back for more. I'm assuming that's what took place. They kept coming back for more. And Kobe probably felt some kind of way. He probably felt used. He probably felt, you really don't care about me. You're only concerned about what I can give you or what you can get or what you feel you're entitled to. And not only that, the mom and the wife didn't appear to get along because maybe the mom felt that she was entitled to her son's house. This is my son's house. So I could come in and I can disrespect you. I have the right to disrespect you. Although you're his wife, I'm the one that birthed him, that carried him for nine months. Now that's the excuse that a lot of black females use. They love to throw that guilt trip on their sons when they want something. But in my humble opinion, 
Your children did not ask to be here. You was the one that opened your legs, laid down, had sex, and a child is born. So if you took care of us, if you carried us, if you fed us and clothed us, that was your responsibility. Once that child grows up, then that child now is made to feel obligated or guilty to take care of you because you've done those things. It's not their responsibility to take care of you. Now, in the Bible, there's a verse that says to honor your father and your mother that your days may be long upon the earth. I believe in that wholeheartedly. But there are cases where the dad leaves the mom, just walk out on the kids. And then there's cases where the mom mistreats the kids or mainly the son because the son might remind her of the father. I'm not saying that this is the case in Kobe Bryant's family. But you have parents or mothers that would kick their sons out. Not that he did anything wrong. She would kick him out at a very young age because he looks like the father or reminds her of the father or because of the fact that she wants to live her life. So she throws her son away not knowing that he's a gem, that he's treasure, that his future is great before him. She's only looking at the moment, the now. So she mistreats him, she kicks him out. She sends him over to the dad, you go live with your father. I'm not gonna raise you, I'm not gonna tolerate you. You're no good, you're never gonna be any good. And there's so many young black dudes that hear this from their moms. So she kicks them out. There was one case where this dude was kicked out by the moms and a white woman took him in, raised him. He became famous. And then the mom decided to want to come back and say, this is my son. The same thing with fathers. Walk out on your kids. And then one day they become rich and famous. And now you come back and say, I'm the father, that's my son. I'm so proud of my son. I'm so proud of my daughter, but you had nothing to do with that. You walked out on them and now you expect because of the fact that you are a parent, you get all of these rights. You're entitled to all of these benefits, you think. So we really don't know what happened before the moms sold the memorabilia. Why did Kobe Bryant turn his parents down? And more than likely he felt you're educated, you have your degrees, you're working in your careers, you do, you're not hurting at all. I hit you off and you keep coming back. I'm not going to carry you because of who I am. That's just my thought. That's my views, my perspective. I'm not saying this is how it is. So we really don't know why Kobe's parents was ignored. It could have been something Kobe said to his wife and it could have been the fact that the mother was disrespectful to Kobe's wife because she's not black. Because I've heard so many black females talk about Kobe's wife and the fact that she's not black, as they say. But now this woman is in control. She is running the show. And when the parents showed up at the funeral, no one acknowledged. And maybe it's a good thing that no one acknowledged the parents because had someone stood up and says, thank the parents that brought him into the world. I just want to give a shout out to Kobe Bryant's parents 
and then they're flooded with boobs. If somebody had stood up and acknowledged the parents of Kobe Bryant, there might have been boobs. They might have been boobs. So maybe it's good to let well enough alone. It's good that nobody said anything. No one acknowledged them because of how the media made people think regarding Kobe and the parents. So we really don't know what happened and what was said behind closed the doors and what the media does not know. We don't know that. See, we don't know that. And just because they're his parents don't mean that they always have to be acknowledged as parents, especially if they never was a parent to him. And for all we know, they could have been there. I don't think the dad was there for a reason. I think the dad, uh, from looking at the photo, the dad looked like he hurt, man. He looks like he was pretty, he loved his son. The mom, on the other hand, and this is no disrespect, but the mom to me looks like a gold digger. She looks like a hood rat to me. You know, so the mom maybe, because in many cases, it's the mother that's the problem, not the father. A lot of times it's the moms that create all of the drama. So the mom might have had problems with the wife. And now the wife is in control of everything that Kobe owns. She's in control of that scenario. So maybe it's a good thing that no one acknowledged them because they might have been booed. That would have been the ultimate disrespect. Not just for the parents, but at his funeral, his parents being booed. So sometimes it's best to let well enough alone. So if his parents were, weren't were acknowledged and they were ignored, maybe there's a lot of unexposed or unseen events that took place behind closed doors that no one knows anything about. Something Kobe might have said to his wife because I'm gonna tell you guys, will talk to their wives and they talk to their women. Share some very intimate moments with their women. Tell their women how they truly feel about certain things. And if he felt he was being used by his family or by his moms, and for all we know, Kobe could have said like, look, if anything happens to me, um, this is how I want things to be. But see, we don't know what his wishes are. So you have a lot of people that jump to conclusions and they take the sides of the parents because of the fact that they are the parents. And they like to say, well, if it wasn't for the parents, he wouldn't be where he is. But at the same time, he did not ask to be here. He did not tell them to lie down and have sex and bring him into this world. See, they did that. They made that choice. They made that decision. And I hate when people try to hold that, mainly mothers try to hold that over their son's head when their sons become wealthy or famous. Now you want to hold over his head how you birthed him for nine months, you carried him for nine months. And what you did and how you fed and clothed him like he owes you. When in reality, it should come from his heart. Just be his mom, just be there, support him. Don't expect anything from him. I have two sons. And I don't expect anything from my sons. One of my sons, he likes to rap, that's his thing. When I grew up, my thing was art. If I didn't go in the military, who's to say I might've became a famous artist? 
or designer. No one knows. I chose a different path. But one day, if one of my sons become famous and wealthy, I don't expect anything from them. Now, if they make that choice and decision to bless dad, to help old dad out, or to help their moms out, that's their choice. But they're not obligated to do that. And another thing too, especially when it comes to drama between a child and their parents, because parents at times can say some very hurtful things and do hurtful things to their kids. And then you have the children that can say and do some very hurtful things to the parents. So that creates bad blood between a mother and a child or the father and the child. So with that black bad blood, myself personally, if I have bad blood between one of my sons, and let's just say we don't speak. Let's just say I don't have anything to do with him. He doesn't have anything to do with me. If he dies, the right thing in most people's mind is to attend his funeral. But in my mind, I'm thinking, why would I attend my son's funeral when he's dead? When I was so stubborn to visit him while he was alive. James Cleveland, a gospel recording artist, made a song that says, bring me my flowers while I, I, I yet live that I may see the beauty that they bring. Bring me my flowers while I yet live so that I may see the beauty that they bring. In other words, don't wait till I'm dead to bring me a bunch of flowers. Don't wait till I'm dead to spend all this money on me and I'm alive and you could spend your money on me now. So why wait till I'm dead? Bless me while I'm alive. So what it looked like me attending my son's funeral, sitting on the front seat, talking about my son when, when he was alive, I never spoke to him. Walked by him, didn't say a word, talked about how no good he was, he talked about me, but yet now he's dead, I'm gonna attend his funeral. How does that sound? Or vice versa. Why would I expect my son to attend my funeral when I treated him like mess while he was alive? So no one really knows what transpired between Kobe and his parents to create that type of environment when no one acknowledged them and completely ignored them at their son's funeral. What happened behind closed doors that created that type of environment? So again, I understand people saying that's his parents and they should have at least acknowledged them but we don't know what happened behind closed doors. We don't know the whole story. No one knows totally except for the wife and the family. They're the only ones that know what really transpired to create that type of negative energy. And you can see in the father's eyes, man, he's hurt. I don't know how hurt the mom is, but the dad is hurt. And I'm sure in this pictures where Colby and his dad is together and they're smiling, but the dad is hurt. So that's my thought on it. I, I, I wholeheartedly believe that you should always honor your father and mother. I would never, you know, 
uh, speak ill about my father, although he's, he's done some things, man, when he was alive, that, um, but I never disrespected him, never, ever. And even while he's dead, I would never disrespect my father. I miss him at times, that's my dad, you know? And uh, Eminem, someone just told me about Eminem, he did a thing where he told his dad to suck his private part. He invited his dad to his private part because I guess his dad walked out on it. And you have a lot of bitter dudes out there, man, that really had problems with their dad and their moms. I met dudes, man, that, that, that hate their mothers. They said they hate their moms. So no one really knows what transpired, man, in these people's family to have an opinion to say, I think they should have acknowledged or respected the parents when in reality, the parents might not have deserved that respect or acknowledgement. So feedback, tell me what you think. Until next time, I'm fearless.